You have to get in the fight. You've got to deal with the difficulties right now. You've got to fight for what you want. You can't just sit and think that it's going to come to you. You've got to fight for it. You must not sit down and remain indifferent. You must keep on keeping on. You must push whatever is trying to push you down. You must fight whatever is trying to keep you down. Fight for what you want. You see, the fact is difficult days is going to come. It's always going to come. Giving your life to Christ does not exempt you from having difficult days. Getting saved does not exempt you from problems. Jesus warned us that difficult days will definitely come as long as we remain on the earth. That is why he said in John chapter 16 verse 33 that these things I have spoken to you that in me you might have peace. In the world you shall have tribulation but be of good cheer for I have overcome the world. Jesus was trying to prepare you for the fact that you will definitely have trouble in this life. Nothing worthwhile comes without a fight. Whatever is truly your value that you desire to achieve, you're always gonna have to fight for it. You will have to enforce your will to make it known that you want it for yourself. Stop being passive. Stop letting the devil take what is rightfully yours. You see, God has already blessed you, child of God. He has already given you everything that you need in this life. What is left is for you to manifest the blessing. You are already called. You already have a purpose. There is something God has prepared you to be used for. You are already a vessel. But if you're ever going to have the blessing, if you are ever going to walk in the fullness of all that God has intended you to have when He created you, then you are going to have to get on your feet and declare that you want it. Enough of just sitting and letting life idly pass you by. Enough of wishing that things will change. Enough of not even caring if they change or not. Enough of the Q-Sera, Sera, whatever will be, will be mindset. If you want something, you've got to get up and take it. That difficulty didn't come to kill you. You see that problem that came your way after you showed interest in what you wanted? After you made up your mind to go for that dream that God has placed in your heart? It did not come to kill you. It definitely did not come to end you. It's not proof that you shouldn't have started pushing what you did. So many times you give up before we even get started because just when you've made up your mind on what you want to do or what you want, then difficulties come your way. But if you are not careful, the devil can convince you that it's because you are not supposed to be or you're pursuing what you are not supposed to. But what we don't understand is the difficulty is a part of the process. Yes, the winter is a part of the summer story. You see, there can be no spring without winter and no summer without spring. You cannot walk in your blessings without the difficulties, the challenges you have to check how committed you are to what you say you want. Do you really want the blessing? Do you really want to walk in the anointing? Do you really see yourself walking in the vision of what God has said that He wanted to do in your life? And even more importantly, did you believe Him when He said that He wanted to do it? If you did, then you cannot get discouraged when the problems come. They are a part of the process. They did not come to kill you, rather, they came to make you stronger. You see, without the difficulties, you would never really know what's on the inside of you. Just like a wine press brings wine out of grapes by putting them under a lot of pressure, what is on the inside of you was made to come out under pressure. Don't run from the challenges. Don't be so afraid of trouble that you don't take any step and don't end up leaving at all. Don't be so afraid of problems that you never get started. The only reason God will allow whatever you face is because He knows what you've got in you to handle it. He knows that you've got what it takes to deal with it. So it may not look like it, you may not even believe it or even be able to see it, but trust that God can never lie to you. If He says that you've got what it takes to handle it, then it means that you will surely do. So get on your feet and fight. Pick yourself up from where you've cast yourself, from where you've let the devil convince you that you were too weak or that he is too powerful or you just don't have what it takes. You need to be able to recognize the lies of the father of lies. You've got to get on your feet and fight. This is not a time to stay in the middle and see what happens or how it all turns out. Your life is in your hands. 
What do you want? You will have whatever you want. If what you want is promotion, then you've got to fight for it. God is committed to doing his part as long as you do your part. Let the warrior in the inside of you arise. Let the victor and the conqueror on the inside of you arise. If there was no need for war, God would not have told you that he has already made you more than a conqueror. In Romans chapter 8 verse 37, it says, Nay, in all of these things, we are more than conqueror through him that loved us. And there would have been no need for him to tell you that you already have the victory. In 1 John chapter 5 verse 4, For whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. And this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. There is a war going on, a war for your future, a war for your increase, a war for your faith, a war for your life and for your family. You can either decide to sit it out and get whatever the enemy decides to give you, or you can decide to get up and get into the ring. It's time to get up and fight. God is waiting for you to get into the fight because you have already won. So when the next problem or difficulty comes your way, don't run from it. Instead, run towards it. Run towards it because you understand that even before you fought the fight, you've already won. You know the end. Run towards it because you understand that this is a part of the journey of your breakthrough. If you are going to manifest, you've got to deal with it once and for all. If you are going to become all that God has said you were going to, then you've got to get up and fight. So get up and fight, child of God. See your inheritance and begin to find its way to you in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. Thank you.